Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about coding interviews and simple problems. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, has a seemingly simple problem stumped you in a coding interview? Yes, many times. It's... Uh, Honestly, it's been the rule for me that every single uh, coding interview I've ever done has been pretty bad uh, on my part. It mostly has to do with performance anxiety for me, um, and then of course overthinking the problem, which is something I've done since I used to go, since I was in school, where you'll get a question on a test and it seemed like a very simple question. and then you start overthinking it and you start thinking wow maybe this is a test inside of the test where they're making it super simple and then you start second guessing yourself and you know things starts happening in your head because there's all this well you're sort of aware of that someone's going to evaluate that thi uh, this thing right uh, and honestly it's gotten a lot better, but it's still there even to this day. I really remember from my last job, I sent in... I think I sent in the code test eight times. Because I kept on finding new ways of making it, you know, just right, or improving it, or making it perfect, etc, etc. And so this is not an uncommon problem I see. It's actually something that I account for when I do code into you know, when I review other people's code as well. So I had this uh, there was this uh, code test that I reviewed a while back where the guy who had, it was actually not me who did the interview the the code challenge or like I wasn't doing the review it was a coworker of mine and he explained that he thought this was kind of funny there was this dude who had he had created a weight like an, a simulated weight for a network call on a front-end application he had been working on the, the code test was in front-end and my coworker thought that was kind of funny why is he delaying this thing so that it's taking longer than necessary and I said it's very simple he wants to show what the loading state looks like in the application because we were just running this locally, so he wants to show showcase how to simulate that thing. Because he, and then I started speculating a bit, a little uh, speculating a little bit, and said basically that, well, this is a sort of thing you do either when you're afraid that someone, where you put a lot of effort into the loading, or if you did what I do, overthink the problem, and we want to give this sort of experience, right? Or well, there's some number of other reasons as well, but that's basically how it goes. And this is—I'm no exception. I uh, I do the exact same thing. I tr I give you this like this. Uh, this is just a lesson for me, guys. You do what you want with it. Try to not do this too much because in that scenario, when this other dude had done it, I basically told him that yeah, he has probably just made that classic mistake where he's nervous that we're gonna miss in the code test that he's good or he wants to show off you know there are many ways uh, people kinda wanna prove themselves in a code interview and in any test basically and at least I always try to ignore that part because I understand that this is not necessarily a reflection on their skill it's more of a reflection of their emotional state when they're being put in this sort of test situation and the this thing affects me as well and so I try to just not tr I, I try to get this thought through every time I work on a code test these days guys and I suggest you do the same sort of thing don't try to impress people with the code just solve the problem solve it in a simple way don't try to be impressive don't try to over engineer it or anything like that it is hard guys it's super hard because it feels wrong because you know you see some of you will think that uh, well if i write a really nice test then that's going to impress the reviewer and yes it can impress the reviewer but the problem is that when you don't have an understanding of who the reviewer is 
it might actually hurt you as well. It might be over engineering. I've done this, guys. I have been accused of doing over engineering on my code test, for, and I've also been questioned why I didn't do certain things that they expected. An example would be I did a lot of front end code tests where I didn't write any unit tests for the front end code. Now, I am fully capable of writing unit tests for front end, but the challenge was so simple and the uh, the, the, there was no expectations on doing it, but the people who did the reviewing thought that you code, well, if you write any code, you should do unit tests, because that's their value system. And my kind of go, how would I ever know that? Because it's silly to write unit tests for absolutely everything, even when it's, uh, like, there's no reason to write unit tests for something that is so simple that it will never break. But that's what they thought. So, I actually lost out on a chance to impress because I didn't know that and that's why this game of trying to guess what the person who's reviewing is actually looking for is still it's silly it's just a mind game you play yourself but for me I have been stumped by many of these sorts of questions uh, practically I guess I said almost every single time uh, due to the fact that there's a lot of nerves in it I mean uh, let's take an example for uh, an example would be one of the challenges that I got was to create an algorithm that would generate the most the, the, all the possible combination of the two of two six faced dices and my first thought was okay yeah that sounds pretty straightforward let's create an algorithm that or rather let's just have a for loop that just loops i don't know a thousand times and then just you can get the uh, uses like a randomness uh, function for numbers between uh, up to one to six, right? And then I'll statistically get the most likely dice rolls for these two dices, right? And said and died, and I did that. And it was only after I had done that when I realized that, wow, well, I can actually just do a nested loop. Where I loop. Well, basically, because it's I know the two dices, and that it was like this was a simple challenge guys and I could not you know my first instinct was completely off I actually made a really really bad and shitty implementation I probably would have submitted that shitty implementation if it wasn't because the evaluation of they had an automated evaluator uh, it wanted an exact number and when you do even like when you do the statistic one that I did which is just looping many times you still get like a margin of error uh, you, there's always like a decimal in there and well the evaluator expected an exact number each time for all the cases it was running the test for so that was me kinda dumb 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 Frederick uh, didn't think about such a simple solution uh, got it right luckily enough but it's been that way pretty much every time another one that I actually failed which was because I had I had the interviewer sitting right next to me, breathing down my neck and saying, Hey, Frederick, solve this problem. You have five minutes, and if you don't do it, you don't get the job. And this was a simple one as well. Okay, he asked me to uh, go through an array, and when you're done with the array, I, don't, I can't remember why I didn't figure that out. Uh, he asked me if you should pick the biggest number in the shortest amount of po time possible when you loop through an array. And I kind of went, okay, how do you fig figure that out? And I go, well, okay, yeah, I would probably loop through, and then I have to figure out which is which is the biggest number. And by doing that, I should probably do it. And I started doing implementation, and I couldn't solve it. I was so damn nervous, and he was so intimidating that by the end of it, uh, you know, he kind of showed me that, well, all you have to do is to have a variable that holds the last value, and then loop through once. Just go through, and uh, iterate through, and then if the new, new number you compare with is bigger, you just keep that number. And then you continue until you're done, and that way you can have a linear solution. But I could not do it, because the pressure and the etc. So my brain just locked, uh, locked itself down. And guys, trust me when I say this, this happens to practically everybody. A lot of it's extremely rare that someone doesn't make these sorts of tiny mistakes and a good interview will understand that this is usually a stressful situation when somebody can solve a simple problem because there is as I like to say there's a difference between being stressed and like being affected by the pressure of the interview and not actually being able to code all that well
So, what I want you to take away from this is that, yes, seemingly simple problems have stumped me on practically every uh, code test I've ever done. Uh, it's not an uncommon thing, it's actually very, very normal. And uh, I, uh, yeah, since I do a lot of interviews, I always account for that when people try to impress me with their code or things like that. And try you try to kind of discern, you, you, there are things where I, that I look for in the code test where some things I know are not it's accidental, it's not due to stress, it's lack of skill that is the problem here and some things are, yeah, they're trying to impress me or things like that. And trust me guys when I say this, I have done this practically every single time uh, and it's not an uncommon thing because when you put, when you when you raise the stress for something that requires a calm, relaxed person and like a deep high quality thinking, when you stress someone out in that circ in those circumstances, it's actually very difficult to do it. It's similar to, you know, when you lose your fine if you get very, very stressed, you you start losing your fine motoric motoric uh, skills. And it's very difficult for you to do like these nitty gritty little things with your fingers. Uh, same detail, you might be able to do it, but it's going to be much tougher for you. And we, uh, the software tests or like the code tests are very sim a very similar sort of problem uh, in that scenario. Have a great day.